We are live on Periscope. Alright, we're on Periscope, just so you know, Riley, so don't say anything about anything. Uh, okay. Retweet it from that power thing. You can say hi, you're on camera. Hi. I'm sweating. Is it hot in here? Yes, it is actually hot in here, though. I'm good! <laughs> Really, you're fresh and clean over there. Hot. You got a wicked off alpha sprout kicking though. Yeah. Other so side. Periscope's so far behind now because Riley's not even in the room yet. I just clicked on and I was retweeting it. Oh. Did you already retweet it? Yeah, no, I'm reposting it too. Uh, Mark said, "Welcome home, Riley." Hi, Mark. Marissa said, hey, pretty girl. Uh, good morning. Welcome to the Power Morning Show. First of all, uh, before we go any further, I hope uh, all the moms out there had a really, really great Mother's Day. Yeah. Um, yes, we, we you know we, we have a lot of respect for moms out there, you guys. We can't we can't be who we are without moms. That is, no. that is the truth. Uh, I'm Scotty. That's Riley back from Paris. Hello. Uh, that's Brett over there tweeting like a madman. Well, Twitter's going nuts because of Riley. Yep. Uh, <laughs> so I'm telling you, Riley's got a big announcement for us. Um, uh, would, would you like to just go ahead and take it? After Paris. Yeah. After you, you, so you went to Paris. Yeah. And uh, the reason we waited is because you wanted to talk to your mom and your sister about a few things. Deep yes. breaths. Deep breaths. And, uh, and you did. You talked to them, correct? Yeah, I did. Okay, so in my life, there's three things that have to happen before anything huge happens. I have to tell my family, mm -hmm. I have to tell my brothers, Brett and Scotty, and then I have to tell my radio family, because for me, it's not real until that happens, and here we go with the tears already. Um, hold on. Okay, so I went to Paris to tell my mom and my sister, two of the most important ladies in my life, this big, huge thing that is happening to me. And um, the reason I say that it's like not real for me until I talk about it on the air is because I've announced so many huge things in my life on the air behind this mic. For the last 10, almost 11 years, no huge monumental thing in my life has happened until I've said it on the air. And as you guys can tell, I'm super, super nervous right now. Probably more nervous than I've ever been. You're okay. Uh, you know, I've, I've announced engagements on the air broken engagements on the air, uh, letters to my father, my tattoo stories, everything. And this is the biggest thing that has ever happened to me in my life. And now that I told my mom and my sister in Paris and they were very happy about it, I've told Scotty and Brad already and they were really happy about it, I had to tell you guys. Um, should I just go ahead and tell yeah, everybody? Yeah, look at the, these are tears of excitement. Yeah. Um, yeah, this isn't sad. This isn't sad. It's just really huge. Um, and as you guys know, uh, my entire life, my biggest thing on my bucket list ever was that I wanted to be a mom. And guys, I'm pregnant. Yeah! <laughs> such a good mom. It's going to be, be the awesome. best mommy ever. This is so exciting. <laughs> Riley's having a baby, a little one that you can stop trying to steal my son because you're going to have your own. It's going to be fantastic. <laughs> and it's not Scotty's, you guys. <laughs> no, it's not my baby. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys wish that would happen. That's so fun. This is so exciting, Riley, because we we talk about it all the time, how much Ugh. you want to, and, and how much influence like your your mom and your sister have had in you and your life and, uh, and, and, and the way you want to go ahead and be a mom. And a lot of that has to do with the way you were raised. Yeah, I've always said that I never wanted to be a mom unless I could be a mom that my mom was to me. And I, you know, I, it's just the biggest job in the world to be a mom. So, of course, I'm nervous and I'm freaked out, but I'm really excited and happy. Like, my family's overjoyed because I'm the baby having a baby. You know, so this yeah. is a big, huge deal. The entire family is so happy and so excited. And it's just, huh, like, whoa. Because literally early this year, I was thinking about freezing my eggs because I never thought that this would happen. I didn't think... You know, and it, I don't know if every mom has this same story, but when I found out, I was like, oh my God, uh, wow, like this is happening. And then I called Brett <laughs> <laughs> and there's been many of, of times that I've gone over to Scotty like, oh my God, I don't know if I can do this. How do I do this? What's going on? You know, so now it feels real. Now everybody knows and 
Well, if people remember correctly, too, that when we wrote our letters back at Stuff of Us, mm -hmm. you weren't pregnant yet then. <laughs> and Scotty and I both made sure, and we both talked about it, how even those heart-to-hearts while we're sleeping on a bus together, that this was the biggest thing in your life, that you really wanted to be a mom, that both Scotty and I felt like you were going to be a great mom, that you were going to be that loving mom who had wicked style <laughs> <laughs> and i'll tell you i'll tell you what one of the most amazing things for me to watch was especially when my son chance comes in town to watch <laughs> you with him was one of the most amazing things because now he won't shut up about you <laughs> every time i talk to him is riley there no buddy talk to me for a second and uh so that connection that you uh that you have with the ability to make uh people's lives better and make people smile every day now you get to do it with somebody that is uh, your blood and part of you. And oh my gosh. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. And, it, and it's true, they say, you know, you hear it all the time, they're like, everything changes and everything gets better and your priorities change and th life just becomes m much more enriched once you have a child and speaking from experience, I cannot yeah. wait for you to experience that. I'm very right. excited. I'm really, really scared, but I think I'm scared in a good way because it's the biggest thing, it's the biggest responsibility in the world, yeah. I feel like, and I, I'm ready for it, I'm excited. And I, I really hope and pray every day that I can, you know, be the best mom ever. You know, like when I was in Paris with my family, we got to go see Notre Dame and I got to write a prayer to the baby in the prayer book in the church and everything. So, ha, ah, the tears are flowing and this is yeah. part of hormonal and this is part <laughs> excitement, but... Everybody, even everyone on Twitter, on Periscope, everyone's saying congratulations. They're clicking the little hearts right now on there. Um, Marissa wants to know when the due date is. October, October of this year. We got a baby. And Brendan even said, you know, this was awesome, guys. What a what a special Mother's Day for you and God bless and stuff <laughs> like that. Thank so, you. Is that Brendan from 400? Brendan who's stuck at, he's like, I'm stuck at 400? Stuck I just 400. want to give Riley a hug and I can't get off 400. Yeah, you know, always, <laughs> so everyone else is stuck on 400 too. And well, I just, I wanted to also say, you guys, thank you so much for letting me share this i know that it's a personal thing and i know that it could be like oh my god what's going on with this big secret like it's a really really huge thing for me to be able to share this with atlanta because you guys are my family away from family so that's what makes the show so special yeah is that, that's what makes us different from everyone else this is real maybe we are three family members with a microphone and thank you to Scotty and Brett for putting up with me for the last four months because I know that I've been crazy. So it's been easy. Oh, oh yeah. 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 <laughs> hormones are the it's truth. Been easy. <laughs> but she has got better snacks ever since she's been. I do have out. better I snacks. Know. She I got say. rid of that like wheat stuff she was bringing in the grass. Now we're like yeah. a real snack all the time. Stuff. It's been awesome. Jesus, I love pregnancy. Yeah. Riley Couture, congratulations, mommy! Hey. And, and and happy first Mother's Day. Hey. All right. Um, you good? I'm going to breathe and get some tissues, but I'm good. All right. Uh, you can tweet us. We're posting a video, too, on Facebook. Power 96.1, the big baby announcement video. You got to check it out. It, it, you might tear up a little bit. Power 96.1 on Facebook. It's Uptown Funk. It's the Power Morning Show. Soon to be four. <laughs> Great job. Really? I feel like I blubbered through all of that. Oh, that's good. You went through all the emotions. A lot of people are tweeting around. You want to everybody. Let me answer them. Uh -oh. Sorry, I turned you sideways. You want to say bye to Periscope? Bye, Periscope. Peace down, class.